What's up YouTube? In today's video we'll be taking a look at using Windows 11 on a Core 2 Duo in which is unofficially supported so you'll have to use a bypass to install Windows 11. So the system in question is a Dell Inspiron 1525. Based on internal components it was manufactured in October 2008 and the system itself had been in my household for 13 years since 2009 so in just earlier this month I did upgrades which was swapping the S um, hard drive for an SSD installing more RAM and I also replaced the thermal paste and then the keyboard stopped working so I fixed that and now it's fixed and I have been running Windows 11 on it for a while so this video will cover us running Windows 11 on this system so so we'll get to it now. With the SSD, it boots fairly fast, so... So we're already at the lock screen within around 15 seconds, maybe I'd say. So to... But so far from my person, own personal experience, this thing runs Windows 11 fairly well. But I wanted to showcase it in this video doing some normal tasks that people may use these old computers for. So we're already in everything loaded. The, however, the start menu does, does have slight lag that's which is normal due to the eight megabyte graphics that's equipped in this system and it's also integrated so it is a dell inspron 1525 it comes up as such and it has a intel core 2 duo t5850 clocked at 2.16 gigahertz and we have four gigabytes of ddr2 667 megahertz ram Actually, I installed 800 megahertz RAM, but I guess the motherboard itself only supports 667, so we're stuck with the slower RAM. And it has Windows 11 Home with all the latest updates applied. And of course, as I said before, this system does not run, is not capable of running Windows 11 officially. So, first, we'll take a look at Microsoft's official PC health check to give us an idea. So, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD, and it comes up as being 13 years old. And it says it does not meet the requirements, citing that it needs, that it must support secure boot. I did look in the BIOS, and this computer has no such option, so it doesn't support it. It does not have TPM 2.0, which is obvious for a computer of this age as the first PCs with TPM 2.0 support came in 2017 which is a whole nine years ahead of when this system was manufactured and the processor is not currently supported for Windows 11 which is obvious again because this pretty much almost ancient CPU is also um, is does not have TPM 2.0 support the only things that this system actually does, oops, wrong button. The only thing that this system actually does support is four gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes or larger disk, two or more cores, cause this is a dual core processor. And the clock speed is above one gigahertz. And we'll just look at CPU Z to get better idea of our specs again. So it is a Core 2 Duo T5850, 65 nanometers, and it supports SSE 3, which was the minimum for Windows 10 back when it was released in 2015. So I'm almost thinking that you just need SSE 3 to run Windows 11 unofficially. So I'm almost thinking that the first processor was SSE 3 which was released in September 2003 may possibly run Windows 11. And there's our main board, our memory, which only runs at 6, 
60 some megahertz is that in task manager i don't know why not there graphics intel 965 express and windows 11 home and then as i said before we do have a 128 gig ssd and um what else was i meant to do shoot so oh task manager so so in the task manager it seems like our cpu usage on idle with task manager open is fairly low only idling like three percent and that's after i disable um, most startup services that are stock to the os so there's our processor activity and and on average it's only around between 1.5 and 2.5 gigabytes of ram usage which this laptop came with two gigabytes from the factory so on idle it gets 2d factory installed ram or higher and we also have a really old 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi card which is horrible so for browsing the web this computer is pretty good at it although the fan keeps ramping up but it's running at pretty normal temperatures so i don't know why it would be ramping up it's just that heavy i guess and websites load up pretty fast and the laptop renders them with no problem using the latest version of chrome as of making this video now we'll take a look at youtube and see if we can watch any videos which i'll admit i haven't done that yet so i'll watch my latest video and we'll set it to the highest possible setting which yes this is a 4k video this laptop's gonna struggle i'm sure running a 4k video there goes the fan keeps buffering okay we'll get to a higher part of this video and if it would load that would be helpful i'm sure the wi-fi card is to blame for this as it's the original one and it's i only get like maybe 15 megabits per second average so yeah it's a pretty old card and i don't think there's any modern cards that exactly support this system and it's got lag on 4k we'll try 1440 and i don't think it's gonna run 1440 either we'll try 1080p because 1080p is good quality so we'll take a look at 1080p and see how that does okay i'm going up huh, runs fine I'll scroll and go to a further part. Okay, so it, it's a bit choppy, but you can get away with 1080p on this system, and so in 20p should run better than that, of course. I don't think there's anything else to demonstrate in the browser. And we'll see what our CPU temps are at. So it's around 50 Celsius, but since closing Chrome, it's dropping to around 45 which is normal idle temperature for this system and the absolute max it can go with 85 of course you don't want to be running it at the maximum temperature it can handle and we'll see what multitasking does will not really just open a bunch of apps see if we notice any slowdowns Okay, stuff's taking, starting to take long. I think I've already got this system to its possible limit. Oh yeah, look at that lag. 
of course you don't want to be opening a bunch of apps on such an old system the OS itself is already heavy enough as it is and now we'll open task manager and see what our resource usage is so the CPU is already at like near max oh it's dropping now probably because the stuff's just running in the background see so I've only managed to get it up to three gigabytes of RAM usage opening that up which was quick So for daily tasks, this, this laptop's good enough, so if you wanted just a laptop for your online stuff, or like just basic anything, you could grab yourself an old laptop, unofficially install Windows 11, which I would recommend a lightweight Linux distribution instead, but you can go, if you want Windows, you can install it unofficially for Windows 11 or just use the older 10 and you can extend the lifespan of an old laptop you may already own and I recommend running Windows 11 unofficially and I'm kind of at a neutral point because I have no idea what updates are going to be in the future if they'll possibly just cut cut updates from computers running unofficial um, running it unofficially or if, well, okay, I don't know. But it also runs pretty well on systems. I also have a second system that I run Windows 10 unofficially on, which is newer than this laptop and runs much better. So yeah, you can run Windows 11 on a Core 2 Duo. So you just need to use an unofficial workaround. So like write a USB using Rufus with the bypass if you wanted to install Windows 11 on a system older than older than 2017 pretty much and if it's a low-end laptop you're installing on then I guess any time before 2019 is the first Celerons to have TPM 2.0 would be 2019 so if you want to run Windows 11 on an old computer go for it it runs fine so yeah you can go with it if you want so this will be the end of the video wait yeah I guess it is so this is the end of the video please leave a like please subscribe and you can optionally donate if you want to link will be in the description and this is it comment below with your thoughts and this is the end so see you again soon